Hello everyone, it's Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. I am on to the... This is the third little bag that I'm going to be sending to um, Janet. I'm using those three colours for this one. These are just odd balls of um, double knitting. I've got that. Actually, my bag is starting to go down a little bit now since I've been doing these because I'm using three balls at a time. Not all full balls are just what's been left from things that's been knitted. And I rather like the way the colour come out with this one. It's sort of like a, a sea colour. I'll put that down in a minute. So that's how much I've done of that one. You know, it has a base on the bottom there. We'll stand up like that. So I'll put that one down in a minute. And these are the other two. The little one that I didn't actually do it for Janet in the first place, but she asked for it um, when she asked for the other one. So I'll be saying that one. It's a little bit bigger, that one. You can see this one's five, or well not five, nine inches across by six inches up to the where the handle starts. And this one is 12 inches and eight inches up to here. I think when I do it, I do see 12 inches. I do two thirds for the um, the height, the same as um, this one around about. That's about where the way they work. And this one's going to be the same size because they're for a six year old and uh, um, an eight year old. I don't know what Janet wants the little one for. She could be keeping it for herself for, <laughs> for putting little bits in. But I'll put them down out the way for um, a minute. And I have been to Hobbycraft today. Um, I had a, a voucher sent to me uh, by Lisa and it was a £25 voucher for the spend in Hobbycraft. And I'm looking for what, oh, what I got. I went in first and I looked for some circular needles. Now I wanted some larger sizes. I've got quite a few zing ones, but I think they only go up to about five. 0.5 something like that and I wanted some thicker ones these are eight millimeters I wanted some thicker ones for um doing blankets and it's quite a, um, a long length it's 80 centimeter you know with the cable and that that's me that's measured from the tips of the needles so uh, the thing and I wasn't too happy about getting these ones until I saw actually saw these ones because the other ones I've got I'll go and get a pair and show you what I mean. I've got some in the in the other room. I've got them in the tin here. I'll have to find a, a, the one, the other one. I might come out because they're all twisted around each other in here. I'll just show you the scene. See this one here. When you hold it there, it has a bend, bend on the corner. I would love to straighten that, but I think it might damage the um the thing. And I'm not sure. I think these ones are metal. And then I saw these ones, the same pony. They're the same pony ones, but they're all straight all the way down. They had a lot of the other sizes in as well because I haven't got um I've got. I don't know what sizes I've got in these ones, pony ones. I've got quite a few pony ones in here. Can't see where the size is on it. Unless it's just on one needle. I'll have to find some something else to put these in because they're all rattled up around each other. <laughs> but I want, like I said, I wanted straight ones because I do not like that bend. It's awkward when you're, you're working with them and you keep push them you don't just push them straight along you've got to push them up and along and I do not like it and I wasn't too happy about these ones either because when I saw didn't realize till I got them home that they're all they're all plastic but they seem to be quite a strong plastic they're not bending because I have plastic needles like this and you can bend them that was why I, I started buying a lot of the um the zings while well, I like the zings for straight knitting needles but I do not like them for circulars I am using a pair 
I'll show you here. I'm using the pair. These are four millimeter ones. This is my own cardigan. I've been on my sweater. I've been doing a little bit of this one. Getting a little bit further with this one. And one of these, in fact, one or two other pairs of the zings I've got, they catch the wool on the join. It's this one in particular, the four millimeter, the one I, I would be using the most. One side's all right. But one side, it keeps catching the um, the wool. And I've noticed that with one or two other pairs of them as well. I won't buy any more zing of the, the circular ones. While I like the straight needles, I do not like the circulars in these. So I was happy when I saw them ones with the being straight all the way down. So they were £4. So that's not bad because they are quite 8mm. That's quite a good size. Huh? And... I bought five balls of Hayfield Bonus. I thought I haven't got a lot of pale blue, so I bought some. Um, I think I've only got one pack of blue, and I've just broken into actually, so I wouldn't have enough to do an adult one um, with breaking into it for a little baby one. I did. This is frost, frost blue. So I bought five balls of this. This was two pound fifty a ball. Now, Hobby Craft is a dear shop as far as I'm concerned. I wouldn't shop there normally, but um, I had a voucher to go there. So that's the only reason I went there. Um, but this is, I think you can get this for one pound ninety nine. most places online. And I know Hobby Craft is a more expensive shop than any other shop I've been in. Like I'm saying, I wouldn't shop there normally, but um, this was £2.50 a ball. So I bought five balls of that. And I can always use some extra white because I've always got a lot of things to do in, in white. And I'm using white with those bags, one ball of white. And I can probably use it, you know, for that, if not for baby things. And so I bought three balls of that. And all that came to £24. And I still had a pound on that card. And the, the man was laughing when he gave us the card back. He said, you still got a pound there. And I thought, oh, well. I'll nip in some time when I'm down Silver Link because that's where the shopping place is, uh, Hobbycroft. It's, um, it's a shopping area where I live, North Shields it is. So I thought, well, next time I'm down that way, I'll pop in, I'll just get a ball of something and use, pay the rest towards that um, pound. So that's where I used the, the voucher for that um, Lisa sent me. And while I'm on about my knitting here i did a little bit more of this last night and as it's starting to get longer i've noticed it's looking wide and i have a feeling this sweater is going to be too big for me and then i realized something when i first started it i was going to do cable patterns on it and i changed my mind and decided to do straight just a straight plain sweater because I haven't got I haven't got anything at all that's just plain knitted and I thought oh I'll just have a plain one only I didn't I put extra stitches on because I had already started the um the rib and I had already started it was after I'd done the um the rib and that when I changed my mind about going from cables and well when you do cables you have to have extra stitches because it pulls the cables pull it in and I'm thinking I've got about eight stitches more than I need on this so i know for a fact it's going to be too large so the only thing i'm not going to pull it out i'll just carry on knitting it and if it is too large i'll just put it up for seal but i have thought about when i come to do the um when doing the back when i come to do the armholes i cast six stitches off either side of the armholes and then start the um the shaping i think with this one i might cast off 12 stitches and when i do the front i'll put less stitches on i'll deduct those 12 stitches from the number of stitches i've got for the back and i won't cast any off when it comes to the armholes i'll just start the shaping straight away so the back of the sweater will come round to the front a little bit <coughs> if anybody understands what i'm talking about so that might make it fit me better 
<laughs> so when I come to do the shaping, instead of casting off six stitches, I'll start straight away with the shaping and straight up so that those extra six stitches that I'm going to cast off at the back will be the cast off stitches I would have cast off if I'd had the same number of stitches. So, so that's 12 stitches I'm going to have to. I've got 127 stitches on here. So I'm going to for the front. I'm going to deduct 12 stitches and make it so it'll look be like a panel up the front. That's what... <laughs> That's my idea anyway to make it um, fit me because I was so annoyed when I realised what I had done and I had knitted and I was thinking, just thinking to myself as I'm knitting, it's after I put it on, I was knitting on straight needles at first and it was after I put it onto the um, the circular as I look and I realise it looks a lot wider than what I need. <laughs> that was when I realised what I had done and <laughs> could kick myself. But anyway, I'll probably work that out. <clears throat> no, I haven't done anything more for Sammy. I want to get a, <coughs> get the bags finished that I'm doing for um, Janet first and get them uh, sent off. And then I've got nothing else to do but what I want to do. Um, so, But I was looking through things. I, I still have one or two things for sale. And I was looking at these, these coasters I've done. These were done at Christmas time. And... I've had them in a bag and I've never really looked at them. And I was looking at them and I thought, oh, I could do a, um, like a coronation one with this pattern instead of the um, the flowery pattern. And that was one on it and I put that down like that and I suddenly realised that's a different one to this. I sold a set of these. I had a set of four of these and a set of four of these. And I sold a set of these ones, but I think I now realise whoever bought them, I can't remember who bought them, but I think they got three of these and one of these. I think I must have got them mixed up and I must have put this on the top of that set and one of those on the top of that set. So somebody's bought them. They've never complained, whoever it was, it was probably on AB. Yes, I think it would have been on AB. Nobody's complained about them, so <laughs> unless I haven't realised it themselves, but I realised and I realised what I'd done. I thought somebody's have getting a pattern scene. Well, they know what I ordered. You know, that's what they might be thinking. But I mean, they are still nice. They're still exactly the same colours and everything. So I'm going to do another one to make this a set of four because there's only three there. And I'll do another three three to make a set of those ones I had tension and put them away I'll put them up on eBay probably but um I'll probably end up because they're all I like, done for Christmas I'll probably end up keeping them for next Christmas like if not but that's something you know you've got so many things and I had so many I was selling so many of these courses and things at Christmas and I had them all laid out and I must have just put the wrong one on top of the those two packs <laughs> but <laughs> these things happen don't they <laughs> anyway I'm going to get back to my knitting I'm going to finish the this little bag I'm doing first I'm not take long for this I'll have to message Janet and tell her that it's nearly finished and I'll be more than likely be able to post it off tomorrow um, to her so I'll have to send her a message and tell her how much I'm charging her for them <laughs> so that's my little bit for today, so thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll catch you all another time, so bye for now.